Last summer brought senseless loss of young life in the state. This should never have happened to Josh. Um, he was a normal, beautiful, lovely young boy who was working full time, doing, you know, having a great life. He went away to a festival and he didn't come home. How to deal with drug deaths at music festivals became problematic policy for the Premier. Here we go! But on one point, she stood firm. We do not support pill testing. Anyone who advocates pill testing is giving the green light to drugs. We know that pill testing won't work. The coroner has been doing her own work, investigating the six deaths at the music festivals. Her draft recommendations include introducing pill testing, putting her at odds with the government. I have a personal view. I think that sometimes pill testing might lead people to have a, a false sense of, of security when it comes to using drugs and it's risky. I don't see pill testing as the answer. I think ultimately uh, education, awareness of the dangers of drugs. The coroner Harriet Graham didn't stop there. She went much further, decriminalising drugs for personal use, stopping police sniffer dog operations and scaling back strip searches should all be pursued. We need to find a new approach so I'm open to new approaches based on expert evidence, which is what we kept hearing in the, in the coronial inquest. These draft recommendations went to the health and police departments. They were leaked and by doing so sets up a preemptive strike to shut down the coroner's findings because to some they'll seem radical. That puts extra pressure on the Premier who needs to be seen as acting on the issue, but she's unlikely to change her position on pill testing. We owe it to the coroner, we owe it to the families to actually consider what the coroner recommends and simply to say I'm not going to do it because that has always been my position is not what we should be doing. Regardless, it will reopen the debate that plagued the Premier earlier this year. The Premier needs to accept the evidence on this, forget about her ideological war on drugs and accept that harm reduction works. There is a difference between science and politics and I think uh, that position being taken by the politicians is political. The coroner's recommendations will be finalised and delivered in three weeks. Ashley Raper, ABC News, Sydney.